In this lecture, we will learn about loops in Python. A loop executes a piece of code repeatedly until a condition is fulfilled. Many of the programs you write will involve loops. Loops are useful if you want to execute code over and over, but only have to write the same code once. There are two main types of loops in Python, for loops and while loops. A for loop goes through items until the provided length is reached. We call this iterating over the elements. A while loop, on the other hand, executes until a specified condition is met. Here is a very basic example of a for loop in Python. We will start out with a list of strings, A, B, and C. Don't worry about lists for now, just know that they hold multiple values. A list is just a special type of variable, but instead of holding one value, it can store many values. Then we will type 4x in letters, and then a colon. Underneath this, we will indent the line and type print x. When we run the code, you will notice that each item in the list, a, b, and c, were printed to the console. Note that aside from lists and other container data structures, we can also loop through a string. A string is an iterable sequence of characters. To achieve the same effect as we did with our list, we could just do the following. For x in the string a, b, c, print x. When we run the code, you will notice that a, b, and c were printed to the console. That is a look at for loops in Python. The other type of loop that Python supports is the while loop. A while loop will execute its body of code as long as its condition evaluates to true. We will start out with a variable num, set equal to a value of 3. Then we will use a while loop with a condition of num greater than 0. Inside of the while loop we will print loading to the console. Then we will decrement the num variable. This just means that we subtract 1 from the num variable. So the program subtracts 1 and then assigns the decreased number in place of the value that num was holding. When we run the code, you will notice that loading was printed out three times. Why is this? Well, on the first iteration, num is 3, and 3 is greater than 0, so that code is executed. Num then becomes 2, which is also greater than 0, so the code gets executed. Then num becomes 1, so the code is executed again. Finally, num is 0, which is not greater than 0, so the code inside of the while loop is not executed. In summary, you will frequently use loops in your programs. A for loop goes through items in an ordered collection. A while loop runs over and over while a condition is true. In the next lecture, we will learn about variable scope.